Hey, welcome back. Nigerians in Diaspora Commission Chairman and CEO Honorable, Honorable Abike Dabiri Arewa has expressed gratitude to First Lady Senator Olure Mitinubu for her steadfast support in the recent rescue of several young Nigerian girls from trafficking in Ghana. Honorable Dabiri Arewa commended the efforts of President of the Nigerians in Diaspora Organization, Ghana Chapter Chief Kalistus Eloziowa. Alongside the Nigerian Embassy in Ghana and Interpol units from both countries for their crucial roles in the operation. Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who has made it possible to get all of you home by providing transportation and all that, we thank Chief Kalistos, who you've all been mentioned, and Uncle Kiss, that uh, you ran to. And we thank the Nigerian Embassy in Ghana, you know, that we have been working with. So your states, we're, we're talking to your states and we'll ensure you are rehabilitated and then hopefully you'll tell your story so that others will not fall into the same trap. One, one thing is consistent, they would lie to you that if you take oath, you'll go mad. It's a lie, you know? So as you come back, um, we'll ensure that you're okay. Proper rehabilitation and all that with NAPTIP and your state government. So I think we, we'll all thank God that you're back home. That's the good news about you, but the bad news is that there are so many over there and we have to get them back. Eh? So I want you all to smile and be happy and know that you are home now. The NITCOM chief reiterated the commitment of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's renewed hope agenda to combat human trafficking and protect the rights of Nigerians at home and abroad. She revealed that the rescued girls aged 15 to 22 and hailing from states including Ebonyi, Akwaibum, Imo, Plateau and Cross River had been lured to Ghana with false promises of employment only to be subjected to sexual exploitation. The NITCOM boss confirmed that the girls have been handed over to National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons to ensure their safe accommodation and support as they prepare for rehabilitation and reintegration with their families. In a related development, a 28-year-old Nigerian woman, Ms. Fevo Ugu, has been sentenced to eight years in prison in Ghana for her role in human trafficking. This situation underscores the present need for continued vigilance and collaboration in the fight against human trafficking as more victims remain at risk.